Namaste everyone, I'm Samatya from Botsphere. So today's tutorial is about Yin Yoga, but it's a very targeted tutorial. So we are going to work on our kidney and urinary bladder meridians. So as per the Indian system of yoga, and the traditional system of yoga, Nadis refers to the energy channels inside our body. Whereas in case of the Chinese medicine, Nadis are referred to as the meridians. Meridians and Nadis, they are exactly the same. Meridians are like the pathways of energy. So through the meridians, the energy flows throughout the body. Now in case of the Chinese medicine, the energy is referred to as the Qi. Similarly, in the Indian system of yoga, the energy is referred to as a prana. So the prana and the chi are exactly the same. And in today's tutorial, we will be working specially on the kidney and the urinary bladder meridians. Now, in case of these meridians, all the forward bends and the back bends are very beneficial. So we will be majorly targeting our pelvic region, a little bit around the spine also and around the hips of course we will be flowing our body from one pose to another and there is long hold involved in every pose and in today's session two yoga blocks will be required if you are not having any yoga block not a problem so you can definitely make use of cushions or folded blankets whatever you are having you can definitely make use of that also so let's all get started so in today's session we will start by placing our palms on our thighs and we will gently close our eyes for a while let's keep our eyes closed spine straight body is well rested on the floor It is time to repose in yourself. So just let go of all the efforts for a while. Keeping our eyes closed, shoulders relaxed, chin parallel to the floor. Let's take a normal long deep breath in. And you may breathe out completely. Let's become aware of our breath as it flows in and out through your nostrils. Every inhalation energizes your body and every exhalation brings relaxation. So let your chest expand and contract as you breathe in and breathe out. Let's all take another normal long deep breath in and as you exhale you may relax more and more. Just become one with your breath. You are simply preparing your body and mind for the upcoming asanas.
your breath is becoming more smooth and more subtle. Let it flow gently. Keeping our eyes closed, let's inhale once again. And as you exhale, you may come back to your present moment. And slowly and gently, let's take our awareness towards the space around us. Let's become aware of our body. And slowly and gently, you may open your eyes. All right, so let's start with today's session. If you feel like closing your eyes in every pose, please feel free to do that because we'll be going within. So let's all join our feet together. Just make sure that your feet are together, heels are together, and you're maintaining the gap between the feet and your groin region. So we'll be bending forward. So if you think that you cannot go completely down, then you can make use of the yoga block also. You can also keep the block inside the legs and you can keep the feet a little away from you and you can simply rest your forehead on the block or if you want to go completely down even that is fine so just make sure that you are comfortable in every pose so let's place our palms around our feet and you may gently drop your upper body down The idea is not to touch the feet with the forehead. Let your upper body simply hang in the air as your legs are making a diamond shape. You will start feeling the stretch around the groin region, around your hamstrings. If 
your upper body is automatically going down during the relaxation. Just let it go. Don't resist any movement. Every time you practice in yoga or any other style of yoga, you are simply showing your body how much you love it. Completely surrender. Let your kidney and urinary bladder meridians get stimulated and activated as you bend forward. Feel the stretch around your spine. The urinary bladder runs along your spine. And slowly taking the support of the palms, you may come out 
gently and let's place our feet shoulder width apart, hip width apart and let your legs simply drop onto the right side and let's turn around and you will rest your forearms on the floor and let's stay over here for a while Your head is simply hanging in the air. If you have gone out of the mat, like me, it is completely okay. If the floor is cold, just be a little careful. You can definitely keep a folded blanket under your forearm if that is more comfortable for your body. You may keep your eyes closed if you want. If you think that your head is paining a bit because it is hanging in the air, you can also rest your forehead on the yoga block. This way your neck is well supported. Continue inhaling and exhaling. And slowly you may lift your body up, taking the support of your palms. And you may let the legs drop onto the left side now. And you may take the yoga block if you want. And you may rest the forearms behind you. Let's stay over here for a while. So we are combining the windshield wipers along with the spinal twist. Just feel grateful for this body and the mind.
just feel grateful for the fact that you have been able to spend quality time with yourself. Yoga heals the soul. Your body is at deep rest in every asana. Even though we are bending, twisting and holding different poses, Just let go of all the efforts And taking the support of your palms, you may lift your body up now. And let's keep our palms behind our body. Feet are shoulder width apart or hip width apart. And you may gently drop your legs left to right just to relax our legs a bit more in windshield wipers. So you will start feeling the stretch around the spine also. And you may gently cross your legs. And let's bring our right foot in front. So the right foot will come outside the right palm and the back knee is resting on the floor back toes are on the floor in this position itself you have to incline the right foot towards the right side so you are simply coming on the outer edge of the right foot so the right foot is literally inclined towards the right side your right leg is inclined too of course and in this position itself, we are going to rest our elbows on the floor. And 
And let's all stay over here for a while. You will start feeling the stretch in the inner groin muscles around the pelvic region. Even in this pose, if you think that your head is hanging in the air and you need some support for your head, then in that case, you can definitely make use of the yoga block also. You can rest your forehead on the block and simply stay over here for a while. Continue inhaling and exhaling. If you have any kind of discomfort, any aches and pain, you can definitely back off a bit. Adjust your body as per your convenience. If your back knee is paining a bit because of your mat, you can definitely keep a folded blanket under the back knee also. It will give you some relief for the knee. In few seconds, we will disengage. So taking the support of the palms, you may lift your body up. You may bring the leg back to its previous position and you may gently take your body back into the child's pose. Let's stretch your arms in front and you can even keep your forehead once again on the block if that is comfortable. And you can even bend your elbows if needed or you can let them be straight in front of you without the block. Whatever is comfortable for your body. So simply relax your body completely.
we are using the child's pose as a pose for the transition between the right leg and the left leg. Feel the stretch around your spine. Your upper body is getting compressed with the lower body. Let the kidney and urinary bladder Meridians get activated. And you may slowly take the support of your palms, lift your body up and you may now take your left foot forward whereas the palms will come in front of you. So the left foot is placed outside the left palm and in this position itself the back knee is rested along with the back toes and the left foot will be inclined towards the left side. So the outer edge of the foot will be rested on the floor it will be in contact with the floor and your left leg is getting inclined towards the left side in this position itself you may gently rest your forearms on the floor if the yoga block is required you can definitely make use of the yoga block also right under the forehead just be comfortable Your pelvic region is getting pushed towards the floor. Adjust your body as per your own convenience.
Feel the deep connected tissues, your fascia. Taking the support of your palms, you will lift your body up and you may bring the foot back to its original position and you may once again take your left leg back into the child's pose. You may stretch your arms in front of you or you can make use of the yoga block also. You may also keep your forearms bent your elbows bent and rested on the floor And taking the support of the palms, you may gently lift your upper body up and you may stretch your legs in front of you now. So let's straighten up our legs for the seated forward bend. So if you cannot go down completely, not a problem. You can definitely make use of the yoga block once again. So let's place our forearms next to us and just drop your upper body down. If you think that keeping your forearms next to you is a little uncomfortable, you can even rest your forearms on your legs. You will start feeling the stretch in your spine as it is making the natural curve as you bend forward. 
and you will start feeling the stretch in your hamstrings also. Completely surrender. Taking the support of the palms, you may lift your body up, you can leave the block and you may once again place the feet on the floor, palms behind you, forward shield vipers. For only a few seconds, let's just relax our lower body along with the spine. Gently lie down on your tummy so you may rest the elbows on the floor elbows in line with the shoulders and let's keep our shoulders rolled back and let's stay over here for a while so you have to make sure that your shoulders are engaged so that your neck is not getting dropped between the shoulders. The shoulders are engaged and you are simply making the curve with your spine. So 
you will start feeling the stretch especially in the lower back and around your shoulders also let's stay over here for a while and let's keep taking long deep breaths in and out through the nostrils it's an amazing counter pose for the forward bend In this pose itself, if you think that it is becoming a little intense for your spine, then in that case, you can keep the elbows a little away from the body. So what it does is it will bring your navel closer to the floor and your spine will feel more relaxed. So as per your own condition, as per your own body, you have to modify the pose. And let's just stay over here for a while. Every time you do yoga, you are honoring your body and the mind. You are honoring the entire existence. While the body needs movement, the mind needs stillness. In this pose, if your neck is getting dropped between the shoulders, try to re-engage your shoulders. And you may gently straighten up your arms in this position itself. You can once again take the palms away from the body. If you think that it is becoming a little intense for your spine, for your back. Just be comfortable. You may keep your eyes closed. Just enjoy every asana. Completely surrender. 
and release all the tension. During the exhalation, In few seconds we will disengage, so just prepare your body and the mind for the disengagement. And you may gently drop your forearms on the floor and you may gently turn onto your spine. And let's keep our knees bent, folded. And you may let the legs drop towards the left side as you place your arms on the floor in the L-shaped position. Elbows in line with the shoulder joint. So you have to see that you are pressing the shoulders against the floor as you let the legs drop towards the left side. Feel the stretch around your spine, around your abdominal muscles. Your body is a beautiful gift from the nature. An incredible instrument.
Just be in the pose. Hold the pose and just stay still. And you may gently on the right side let your upper body be in the same position like before. And you may straighten up your leg to come in Shavasana. Arms are by your side, simply dropped on the floor. Feet are also dropped.
Your vertebrae is simply resting on the floor. Each and every particle, each and every cell of your body is at a deep rest now. So just let go of all the efforts and just repose in yourself after stimulating the kidney and urinary bladder meridians. Let's all take a normal long deep breath in and you may breathe out completely and let your lungs drop towards the floor. Keeping your eyes closed, you may gently turn on to the right side and stay there for a while. And taking the support of your palms, you may gently lift your body up to come back to the cross-legged position. So, this particular tutorial was about yin yoga, but especially for the kidney and the urinary bladder meridians. So, I really hope that you enjoyed today's session. And please don't forget to like this video and please don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. And if you have any queries or if you have any requests regarding any particular tutorial, you can just drop your queries and your comments in the comment section below and we'll be super quick in answering everything. We'll be seeing you in the next tutorial everyone. Till then just take care, keep smiling and keep practicing yoga. Namaste everyone.